I wish you a very, very happy Good Friday. In Matthew 28, verse 6, it says, He is not here. He is risen, just as he said. Positive Christianity loudly declares that we are Easter people. We're not confined by our crucifixions, but by our resurrections. Now, why did they call Good Friday good when it was the day that Jesus was crucified? Well, to all appearances, it was the end. To all human sense, it was the worst of humankind that seemed to be victorious. But it was good because there was more. It was just the darkness before the dawn, the dawn of awakened humanity. Jesus rose as he said he would. Jesus was not confined to the tomb. Jesus lives and his teachings live because of what happened on that Easter weekend. There is one obscene word in the vocabulary of a Christian, and that word is hopeless. The hope of Christ that Christ gives us is best expressed in the language of a five-year-old boy who was on his first ride on a train. When that train plunged into the first tunnel and blackness covered them, the boy gasped, and in surprise, suddenly, the train cleared the tunnel and daylight took over again. And the boy, in absolute delight, exclaimed, It's tomorrow! Today! Well, in Jesus Christ, we have always found it to be so. It is tomorrow, today. Jesus said, I am the light of the world, and always remember, the most remarkable thing about light is the speed of its coming. Many of us have had Good Friday experiences in our own lives. We believe that all is lost. When we look to God, our lives are resurrected into newness. There's new hope and new belief in tomorrow and a new gladness to be alive. Now, some of you watching this are going through your own personal crucifixions. I read the prayer requests every day, and I'm very aware of this. Some of you have been fired or are going through downsizing. Some people reading this have lost trust in someone that they trusted in so much. Some have been facing divorce or the death of a loved one. Some no longer are able to see their children, and they, they face a crucifixion every time they think about their children. Some are having creditors beating down their doors of their own inner peace. Some of us have gone through crucifixions in the past, and hopefully you have discovered the good that the Good Friday truth brings, that there is life after seeming death, and better than before. I am praying today for your personal resurrection. I wish you a happy Good Friday in the knowledge of a loving God that is everywhere present, accessible, and available to you right now. No matter where you may be or what you are facing, God is with you to turn tomorrow into today.